Gambia is known as the Smart Coast of Africa. But why is it called like that? And what is it like visiting there anyway? Let's find out. After a long 5 hours ride from Dakar, I made it to the Gambia, the last stop of my West African trip. It's a tiny country surrounded by Senegal and consisting mainly by the river Gambia. It's so small that you could literally walk across it in a few hours, as its width is no more than 30 kilometers. And what does it look like? Some busy African markets, long dusty roads and amazing tropical beaches. But what really makes Gambia special is the hospitality and kindness of its people. Gambia is smiling close, it's good, the survival is nice, you know, it's a safe country, it's very nice, you know. Unfortunately, I had no more than two days to spend here and I tried to make the most out of them. Once across the borders, I went straight to the ferry which took me across to the Gambia's capital, Banzul. Good morning guys, we made to the ferry, now we just have to wait to depart. First, was visiting Gambia's crocodile pool where I was the first Greek visitor to sign on the entry book. The pool is believed to be sacred and I was told that the gators there won't attack if you show them the proper respect. Although this is up for anyone to believe or not, standing next to all of these crocodiles was a remarkable experience. Next was the monkey forest. There are two different types of monkeys here and I was amazed by how close they are to humans. Their moves and their behaviors is incredibly similar to ours. If you visit, you can see for yourself and feed them too. Just make sure to stock up on peanuts before coming. So we are just walking through the forest looking for more monkeys to feed. Here's more. <laughs> and finally, my short visit to the Gambia wouldn't be complete without swimming at its tropical beaches and enjoying some local beer. We are here in the uh, Serekunda at the beach. Oh. This is behind us. There are even lifeguards here. And we're just enjoying the beer. And that was all from my short stay in the Gambia. As the next morning, I left from a long way back home. However, I had a very good time in the smiling coast of Africa and someday I'll be back for more.